my boys and girls. Um, here's a story called Chicken Little, and some of you have read this story before because we actually have a couple copies of a book on some different levels in our classroom library. But one of the things that I like about this book is there's several rhyming words in here, especially with the names, so pay close attention to those and see if you can hear them. Um, this is a story that's a story that's been told for many, many years. Um, so the reason it says here, adapted by, it means this person is using the story that's been told over and over again, or people change the versions of the story. And this is by Mara Alperin, okay, and illustrated by Nick East. So here we go. Here's Chicken Little. Here's our title page. All right. On a sunny farm, there lived a fuzzy yellow chick named Chicken Little. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. Hmm. I wonder what they mean by not the brightest chicken in the coop. <laughs> Maybe this is a clue. Listen to this. Look at this speech bubble. Where's my hat? I can't find it anywhere. Where is his hat? That silly chicken. It's on his head. One warm autumn day, Chicken Little was hop skip skipping through the woods when suddenly an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head. Click, clack, clonk. Oh, my feathers, was that a piece of the sky? He squealed, squeaked. Help, oh, help. Trembling, Chicken Little scurried back to the hen house, squawking. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Now, is the sky really falling? No, it's not, but that's what he thinks. And this says, Henny Penny. What's all that noise, clocked Henny Penny? The sky is falling, panted Chicken Little. It went click, clack, clonk right on my head. Henny Penny dropped her glasses. Goodness, she gasped. We must tell the king. He'll know what to do. So Chicken Little and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. Did I hear the sky is falling? Quack, ducky, lucky. Yes, it fell on my head. Click, clack, clonk, said Chicken Little. What will we do, cried Ducky Lucky. The king will save us, Henny Penny clucked. We must find him at once. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky dashed off, squawking and clucking and quacking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. The sky is falling, gobbled Turkey Lurkey. Quick, take cover, and he leaped into the bushes to hide. And you can see him leaping there into hide, to hide in the bush. There's no time to lose, cried Chicken Little. We must hurry to town to find the king. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey charged down the path, shouting, The sky is falling. We must find the king. But it wasn't the king they saw. Hmm, who do you think they might run into on this little excursion they're taking to find the king? Also, look here at these names. Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey. Do you notice anything? Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey. It was Foxy Loxy. What seems to be the matter, my fine feathered friends? Grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Little. We must tell the king. Foxy Loxy licked his lips. Poor little birds, he smirked. Come with me and I'll help you find the king. And why do you think he's licking his lips? Think of some other stories that we've read before with a fox. Why do you think he's licking his lips? And so Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animal started in the bookstore. The king's not in here, said Foxy Loxy, picking, peeking into a recipe book. Can you see him? Hmm, a recipe book. Foxy Loxy's looking at a recipe book. That might be another clue why he's licking his lips. And I don't see him here. How frightful, Foxy Loxy muttered. This says, spice up your dinner. He's not under here. It's Chicken Little. 
or cook pot. Now I remember where the king is, Foxy Loxy said with a sly smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. Oh, do say you'll join our feast. Don't worry, my tasty friends, tasty little friends. It's not much further to my den, chuckled Foxy Loxy, starting to drool. Foxy Loxy opened the door and the birds waddled slowly inside. And it says Foxy Loxy here. Hmm. What do you think the birds are thinking? Do they look happy there? It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Maybe he's running late? I can't see anything at all, whispered Chicken Little. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, he purred. What's for dinner, asked Ducky Lucky. You, cried Foxy Loxy, and he leaped at the birds. They all cried, help! And they squawked and screeched and fluttered and flapped until the entire den shook and the chandelier fell. Click, clack, clonk on to Foxy Loxy's head. Let's see the bird over there. Yikes, shrieked Foxy Loxy. The sky really is falling. And he dashed away as fast as he could straight into the king greetings crowed the king what's this i hear about the sky falling the entire town is in a flutter but look dear friends the great blue sky is still up there chicken little gazed up and he saw that the king was right so the birds hop skip skipped under the bright sky all afternoon and they never saw foxy loxy ever again and that's the end.